My name is David Solomon. I'm the writer and director of Apathetic Epidemic. I was the assistant director for a movie called Worst Christmas Ever. I also appeared in that movie and I appeared in a movie called Open Up, both of which are in production right now. This campaign is intended to raise $25,000 for a feature length movie. We're going to start by shooting a short trailer to help continue to generate funds for the final product, the movie Apathetic Epidemic. It is a dark comedy and an unconventional horror film. But mostly it's intended to be a fresh retelling of the classic zombie apocalypse story. Instead of the zombies being brain-eating walking dead, they're just normal people like you or me who are just too busy, distracted, or just plain uncaring about pretty important things. In this case, that happens to be a dead guy laying on a very public urban sidewalk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Annual requirements are 20 mil, not 10 mil. And by the way, I surpassed the annual requirements after three months. Yeah, three. You know, you need to wake up and pay attention to what the hell's going on. Stop. Yeah, I tell you what, if I trip on another pile of trash, I'm going to write a letter to somebody. This city is a dump. No, don't touch. The story revolves around our protagonist named Dex, who, while on his way to work one morning, discovers the body of a dead stranger laying in a pool of dried blood in spare change. Having forgotten to charge his cell phone, Dex does the right thing. He tries to report the dead man to the authorities. Unfortunately, this proves to be a more difficult task than he expected. As Dex tries to seek the help of many passing pedestrians, he finds that, strangely, nobody seems to understand or care about the situation and everyone is just too busy with their early morning rush to work. As Dex's frustration mounts, the situation quickly spirals out of control. One of my favorite things about this story is how it blends the fantastical, otherworldly, Twilight Zone elements that you normally find in zombie movies. Apathetic Epidemic is very much like a zombie movie and features a lot of the same blood and gore you would expect to find, but plays out almost like something that could happen in reality, at least at first. Widespread investigation of reports from funeral homes, morgues, and hospitals has concluded that the unburied dead are coming back to life and seeking human victims. It's hard for us here to believe what we're reporting to you, but it does seem to be a fact. Apathetic Epidemic presents a social commentary in the form of a popular fable the zombie apocalypse genre. In fact, the original Night of the Living Dead had almost identical aspirations as Apathetic Epidemic. George Romero intended his now classic horror film to not only shock and terrify audiences, but also to comment on the nature of a rapidly changing society, one in which the old world was literally being devoured by a new revolution. Romero continued with this concept in Dawn of the Dead by trapping a central cast in a shopping mall and bombarding them with hordes of mindless zombies roaming the halls and stores like the people of the living consumer culture. Looks like a shopping center, one of those big indoor malls. What are they doing? Why do they come here? Some kind of instinct, memory, what they used to do. This was an important place in their lives. Apathetic Epidemic puts this concept in even more literal terms and further modernizes it to comment on our overly distracted society where people wander around in public staring at cell phones, often oblivious of what goes on around them. As a dark comedy, Apathetic Epidemic intentionally plays out like a crude, fatalistic joke, making fun of our first world dilemmas in the most careless way possible. However, I do believe it is truly relevant to our modern culture and society. But more than anything, I think it would just make for an original, entertaining movie. So if that sounds like something you want to contribute to, I highly recommend and really hope that you do help us make this movie. Thank you.